If your video niche tends to be vlogs, you'll also find vlogging tips in my Vlogging Masterclass playlist. And if you're going out and about, try to plan ahead what sort of shots you'll include. I almost always formulate in my head how I'll end up editing the video before I film it. Sometimes, however, we don't plan to make a video and may just decide on the way or once you're there to make a video about your trip. In which case, a lot of people end up using their phones to film. And that's okay too. Most phone video quality is very good these days. Never film YouTube videos vertically. There's nothing more annoying. Leave that for Instagram or TikTok. Always film in landscape mode and hold the phone horizontally so that like this video, you get to see the whole picture in high resolution and not just one third of it. You can improve the quality of the video a lot by panning very slowly on what you're showing and at the highest frame rate you can set typically 50 or 60 frames per second so that the picture looks smooth and not jerky. It may feel like you're moving your camera too slowly but trust me it will pay dividends when you see the footage. Also I recommend always keeping a copy of your completed video and any extra b-roll footage or cutaway shots for use in a future video. This saves you going back out to refilm a similar scene another time, if you even can. G'day, I'm Steve Mack, I live in Brisbane, Australia, which is normally sunny. There hasn't been a lot of acting this year, of course, but I like to keep myself busy by creating content for my generic YouTube channel. Cheers. Oh,